here uh, for his previous talks, what he's done with it, and uh, hopefully he'll give a quick review of that and uh, expand to tell us uh, what he's done since then. Okay, well that was very interesting hearing from the person that actually wrote Pace Fig Forth because uh, back in May of 2009 I started a project, actually it uh, originated uh, arguably uh, about two years before that when uh, uh, someone gave me a computer based on the National Semiconductor IMP16 which was their 16-bit processor that predated the Pace. The IMP16 uh, was a uh, five-chip processor, it was kind of a bit slice that uh, the register an ALU chip uh, was four bits wide, so you put four of them together to make a 16-bit processor along with a uh, control ROM. And so I'd been trying to figure out, you know, what, what can I do with this old computer? You know, back in, back in the mid-70s, I, I uh, would have really liked to have had one of these, uh, but uh, didn't, didn't get it for, you know, another, another uh, almost 30 years. So it occurred to me that one of the, in, in principle, one of the easiest things to do to make it actually uh, useful would be to bring up forth on it. And the easiest way to do that was if I could start with an existing implementation for a similar processor. And the PACE, which, which you know, followed uh, af after the M16, was uh, ar arguably the most similar processor to it. And so I was lucky uh, that uh, David Kilbridge had actually written a PACE fig forth. And one of my friends in Colorado uh, had built a homebrew PACE system uh, in, the, in the late 70s. Uh, he, he gave, uh, he, I found out about PACE fig forth from him in that he gave me uh, his uh, PACE fig forth listing, which turned out to be missing a page. Uh, this, was, this was back maybe about five years ago. And so I thought, well, I could try to you know, figure out what must have been on that page and reconstruct it. Uh, that was before the uh, fig forth listings uh, had been scanned and all put online. So uh, fortunately, uh, I, I didn't have to reconstruct it because uh, thanks to the efforts of uh, someone in the group here, uh, they, they were put online. So I, I started, uh, and anybody that's interested, I can show you later, I brought along a couple of the IMP16 manuals. Uh, the IMP16 is, is actually very similar to the PACE, but not binary compatible. So. Um, so my plan, I didn't, I didn't have a, an assembler uh, for, the, for the PACE or the M16, so I started out, I wrote a PACE assembler, which I wrote in C using Lex and Yak, um, and then wrote a simulator in C. And um, so writing your own assembler and simulator, it's one of those things that, suppose you have a problem that you don't have an assembler or a simulator, and so you write your own, and now you have two problems, or maybe three. Uh, because then, then you have to debug those. And if you don't have reference hardware to compare them to, then it can be tricky to tell whether you're really implementing the subtleties correctly. But anyhow, I wrote the, wrote the assembler and simulator, tried to OCR the, the Pace Fig Forth listing, and the OCR just didn't really work out very well. So I ended up typing it all in uh, by hand anyhow. So, so now I've got another problem that I have to find the errors in my typing. Um, so anyhow, yeah, most of the most of the errors I encountered uh, were, were uh, in my simulator and also some typos in in the fig forth listing as I typed it in, um, and I got I corrected most of those and I got to the point where it was obvious that the fig forth was was uh, uh, running on the simulator was was executing some words, but you know I tried to do the most basic things like add one and two and and use use dot to print the result and that wasn't working. And so I, so I found something, and actually this is something that the question I've got for you, in, in the Pace Fig Forth listing as published by Fig, the uh, U slash word actually has a pretty serious bug in it. And so I, I'm curious as to, as to whether you know, uh, whether this was a known problem. I didn't ever see anything in fourth dimensions about it. And, and you know, how many people you ever heard of are actually running Pace Fig Forth? Oh, okay. Um, my, my, my suspicion is that probably this was a bug that you had fixed and that maybe you had just sent an earlier listing to the FIG. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Anyhow, what, once I fixed that, I haven't tested it exhaustively, but once I fixed that, uh, I've encountered no further problems with it, so it all seems to work just absolutely great. Um, and the one, the one other thing that I did on the PACE FIG forth running on my simulator was uh, that the 
that it came with a uh, essentially a RAM disk implementation for the RW word, and because the M16 hardware that I want to port to actually has a real a real uh, floppy disk controller, um, I I added a simulated floppy floppy uh, to to the simulator and and replaced the RW word to call that, and so I've got. Uh, 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 simulated disk out in a in a file on the computer. So since so since then, um, I've been working towards um, getting it actually running on the imp 16. Since it's not binary compatible, I ended up having to write another assembler and another simulator. Actually, they're largely based on the Pace assembler and simulator. And uh, so I've got those. I've got the assembler written. The simulator is almost done. I didn't implement some of the imp 16 instructions that aren't necessary for Fig Fourth. Uh, but I could add those, and I haven't really tested it very much. And I've got the Fig Fourth partially converted to the M16, so it turns out that the biggest differences between the two processors are that the uh, the uh, flags don't work quite the same way, and the shift and rotate instructions don't work quite the same way. Um, so I've got I've got it to the point where it limps along. Uh, Interpreting some words, but they're they're not all working correctly yet. So I hope uh, to have that done and and bring the actual imp 16 out here uh, to a meeting sometime. To show it off. Um, yes. So you haven't tried running it on the actual hardware? Well, I don't have any actual Pace hardware, and I'm not yet done converting it oh, for the imp 16. That's what I wanted. You said you're quite done. Yeah. So it's not the place where you're testing it on the actual. No, not not yet. I'm looking I'm looking forward to doing that, and um, actually, uh, I haven't decided yet what the easiest way to get the code into the M16 is. There's a eight inch floppy drive uh, attached to it. Um, I am considering uh, actually that the easiest way uh, may actually be to uh, so the 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 hardware that I have was uh, was built by somebody locally who took. CPU cards that were made by National Semiconductor, and then he built his own RAM and PROM and video and disk controller cards from his own designs. And yeah, it is. And uh, so I'm thinking that the easiest approach might actually be to hook up a ROM emulator to the PROM card and and then load the code uh, in serially and and just let the computer think that it's a that it's a PROM, um, at least for the initial bring up. And at some point. Um, then I'll get it written to the floppy disk and be able to, to boot from disk. Um, needless to say, 8-inch floppy diskettes have not been made in uh, many years now. They're, they've actually become relatively hard to find. I have a small stash of them, fortunately. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that, that's another possibility. I could hook a, I could hook the sound card of the PC to a tape recorder, and uh, I, I believe the code already exists to, to uh, generate Kansas City uh, format uh, uh, out out the sound card. So that that might be a good approach. Yes. Yeah, there's probably well, probably already using the serial ports. Yeah, there's more than one. I don't recall whether there are any serial ports on this computer or not. I Sort of don't think there are. Not very many. There never there never were very many in the first place. The Pace and the M16 saw some use in embedded control, which was really what National was trying to push them for. So there was one at least one company was using them for engine diagnostic computers and things like that. Um, Godbout or at the, or CompuPro, uh, I forget which it was at the time, I think it was Godbout, um, ran a series of ads in Byte Magazine uh, that, they, that they were uh, uh, planning to sell a Pace-based computer. And they actually built a prototype, which has uh, since then been donated to the Computer History Museum in Mountain View. But uh, the the it never went any further than the prototype, and they never actually sold any. Uh, one of the reasons that the Pace probably wasn't too popular is uh, that, uh, and the M16 before that, is that they are pretty slow. And in fact, um, if you ran a like a four megahertz Z80 or or even a one megahertz 6502, 
uh, even though those only did 8-bit arithmetic, you, they, they would generally run faster than a pace. Well, any further questions? Okay, thank you.